Hello. We are Ian, and we're playing Chaos Dwarfs. Alright. Let's see what they got. <clears throat> I'm predicting lots of claw. I see at least one, two, three claws. Yeah. Okay, so we definitely don't have the advantage in killing or guard. And these guys can both... Uh, yeah, this could be pretty tricky. This is this is Chaos Dwarfs where you want to level them to. This is kind of the perfect team value for Chaos Dwarfs, I'd say. Uh, guard across so that you can hold up in blocking. Claw so you can break through armor. Centaurs that can move around the field easily, because that's important. And with block. Uh, dirty player, Hobgoblin, Wrestle. And even a movement 7. Um, short hands, Hobgoblin. 12 players for him. And you know what the scary thing is? Uh, he he gets he gets money. <laughs> He's got 190k extra. Okay. Wow. All right. He's decided that we are a problem. Or has he? I mean, he's got 40k extra for no reason. So that inflated his team value above where it needs to be. Um, so, okay, he spent all the money he has. What is going on here? So not only does he have a better team than us, he uh, he has also decided to add a wizard to bribe. And two babes. Wow, he wants to win this. Uh, he just spent 190k of his own money in inducements. I kind of feel you should be able to respond when people do that. Unfortunately, you can't. Because now his, his team is 190k above ours. And we have no recourse for that. But anyway, that's how it's set up. We just go do what we do. Uh, which may be die horribly. But who knows? We got a full team. I brought in um, Mole, Mole Razor Bar, uh, to replace uh, Thrush. I feel like for a while we were we were being the ones that were getting the uh, kickoffs, but now it seems or the choice. Uh, it seems like recently we haven't had that so much. Uh, I'm going to put the dirty player on the field because I want him to get uh, aggressively fouled over anybody else. Uh, do we sacrifice Mantle? Yeah, I think we do. Unfortunately, I think we have to put our two f okay. You know what? No, we don't. He's going to claw us anyway. I don't think it makes any sense to do that. Shouldn't get a lot of usage out of uh, Skunk this game. Yeah, if he's going to claw us, we may as well put the broken one up. That's kind of why I put the mantle there too. May as well give up some breakages. I suppose maybe I should have put Moose on the front line instead of Wolf. So this should be very tricky, um, and I expect our team to die pretty quick. This is how we could have built our team, uh, also, with all the claw and the mighty blow, but we didn't. So, yeah, we might regret that now, or we might be made to regret it even more than we have in the past. But, you know, we're just going to go at this thing. Uh, when we get the chance, we'll try and hit his claw guys, although I imagine he's going to keep them very clustered. Um, I guess the plan for now will be to stay as far away as we can outside of the, the beginning. So he gets a free try with the uh, Blodge Centaur, which at least he failed. Take what you can, eh? All right, block during work straight from the get go. Block during work straight from the get go. 
This would be a bold move to reroll this early. But he was obviously thinking about it there. Block not doing any work, so we don't have it. It's going to pile on because he feels safe here. No dice. Vol will be the one that gets uh, armor broken. No. Could foul him. Taking our wrestle guy is pretty good. Rabbit's uh, given up on standing up. So I think we work on whatever Chaos Doors we can get to. There's an argument that says go for the Hobgoblins. Um, but the Chaos Doors are just as easy to hit, so... You know, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm going to go for the Chaos Doors. Uh, we'll have to just hit a guard one for now. But that's fine. I guess we'll hit this one. If we get a nice chain push, we can push this one out and we can actually walk away here. Oh! A new target has been acquired. Full centaur. One, two, three, four... Nah, forget that. We'll stick with the initial plan. Uh, let's see, I guess we just... I guess we just go for it, eh? Very nice. Chain push. Back he goes. Get that claw in there. Just a stun for now. I can't really complain, seeing as he uh, didn't get a lot out of his. Pull back. Uh, I think we stretch a touch this way. Uh, we can now get this guy up, of course. So, how's he going to approach this? So, we're just trying to make it awkward to get a lot of people around. Um, okay, he's just going for the easy targets, fair enough. Well, out goes Vol. We've got back to our dying ways real quick, haven't we? Uh, what was he, a wrestler? Yeah. Looks like he's going to come over and foul uh, here as well. Oh, he's going to foul a uh, rabbit. Okay. Oh, there goes the bribe. Yeah, I forgot you got a bribe. So, bribe gone is nice. I think we go for the claw this time. Um, let's see. It's going to involve... Popping a guard up here. And it's probably going to involve a dodge away as well.
disappointing. Uh, no, we're not going to do anything there. Well, early uh, early indications. Not much happening of uh, good here. It's actually got a solid attrition fireball there if he just wants to use it to hurt our team. And what I mean by that is uh, sometimes people use them to just try and hit a number of players. We need to get rid of some of these skills. There we go. Down goes Boar. If Boar dies, unfortunately, we have to accept that. Oh, he hasn't necessarily died. One less agility isn't too bad. <laughs> he may still hang on in there. I'm kind of loath to... You know. To uh, just let him go out, really. Because it takes so long to level up. Nice. Alright, we can now potentially stick our guide in here and uh, pop him back in the face. Guess he's failing this guy again, huh? No. No, f no foul? Okay. Very nice. I will stay here, he doesn't have claw. No, he's kind of baiting us in there. I think this is all we really have for uh, a blitz this time. Yeah, if, if Hair's going to have a quiet game, we're in trouble here. Calling it early. I'm not going to take that. He, want, he wants me to block in here because he gets, aside from going to uh, two dice against on the second block, we would just end up next to Claw and he would Claw us down. He'd get an extra Claw block. Now he can bring Guard in here and block us down, but such is life. This is, this is yeah, this is uh, some classic... Uh, Claw piling on at work here. Well, that's no good, is it? We might be getting a very broken team here. When 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 it starts going like this, it doesn't usually stop. So we've saved our ball carrier for now. Um, but we've still got uh, what fifteen turns. <laughs> uh, we've lost a chaos warrior and a. Uh, Wrestle guy.
He's still got a wizard as well. I mean, look at all the inducements. It's crazy. My only hope is that in the next game this comes back to bite him. Or maybe we do get a kill on one of his players and he can't replace him. Because, the, you know, it's, it's playing a... Like, I understand going, like, a little above your thing to get up to the next thing. You know, like, say you've got 110, and you go 40k in just to, um... You know, just to make, uh, make a wizard. Then that's, that's, uh, that's one thing. We do get a block here, which is nice. And then maybe we get to... Go back the other way as well. Alright, so we knocked him over. I think it's time to hit a centaur. Yeah, we're not really keeping up here, unfortunately. I think that being the case, I think we just try this. We got Dirty Player. Solid. So now he's currently down two, we are down three. What do you know, dirty player? Really useful. <laughs> so we had a six to beat, we got a seven. Maybe that was dirty player during its work. I don't know if it's like mighty blow. Yeah. So it adds it to one or the other. Yeah, this is kind of a, I feel like this is a bluff. This is not a bluff though. Oh, he's left this guy out here. I don't see any reason not to run over there, hit him, and foul him. Right? I might even throw away a reroll for it. We'll see. Down goes Wolf. Oh, that's not great. There goes our reroll that we were planning on holding on to. So if this goes wrong, uh oh. Just a stun. Think we all saw that coming? Well, that went poorly. But it's kind of what we had to do in this situation. I honestly feel that way. Yeah, we double ones. <laughs> Oof. I might, I might keep fouling him. 
I'm I'm gonna be honest here. I feel like we've kind of uh we've kind of lost I mean, unless he plays really badly, and he doesn't seem like he's a bad player. Um I would say a couple of weird things. I don't know what this was about, him moving this guy up by himself and this guy coming down here. But outside of that. But we kind of know they're going to score. They'd have to do something really silly not to. This guy's really good. It's going to be awkward to get at him at the at the best of times. So I think we just foul. I mean, if we lose some players, we lose some players. We're, we're going to lose some players anyway. At least Rat has saved himself for another day. <laughs> okay, so what's, why is he... I guess he just wants us far away from him. Presume he'll bring this guy in here. That would cover it. If he doesn't... Yeah, you're just too far away. I kind of hope he does bring this guy here. I don't want to make the decision of trying to dodge through here. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't see that coming, honestly. That's pity. That's even less. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Probably should have saved more players for it. So we've exposed our uh, hair now, unfortunately, which means there's going to be a blitz here, I expect. Yeah, he's freed up this guard to get in here. You better believe he's doing it. Yep. He wants this guy so bad. He's going to reroll that. Failure. Okay, pushed him. That's kind of nice, because that means this guy has a two die. Could have given him a... I mean, he's got a one die. He could have given him a two dice. Let's see how well he defends this. So I'm not ruling out dodging, like doing some ridiculous dodges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five. Yeah, it's probably not worth it, is it?
He'd probably fall over here. He didn't. Very nice. Nothing doing. So yeah, we've only actually removed one guy. <laughs> They've removed four. One of which will come back. Well, I should in fairness say that we removed this guy. Uh, they would have removed another guy had they not bought the bribe. Going for one last blitz here. Successful. At least it's not with the pile on guy. All right. Yeah, this is this is we're playing this a, a little unusually here. Oh, he's back. That's pity. So yeah, they're not down anybody. Cause they got twelve players. I suppose they've got a hobgoblin on instead of a, a guard dwarf. So now we do get to block him one more time for half time, which is nice. And we could throw a ball with somebody if we don't get sent off on the, uh... Let's see, who wants to throw a ball? I mean, Mole could. Raccoon could. Wouldn't be a bad thing to level up another... Uh, Beastman. Although he's probably also the guy I want to... No, I could foul with Mole. That could be his... <laughs> His role for now. Yeah, I haven't, like, given up per se, in case you're wondering. Um, I'm feeling like the draw is most likely, uh, if we can maintain players. I was actually feeling like we were going to do worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he stayed out of range. Uh, you know what? You should probably hit a hobgoblin. You should hit the guard guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we'll gather everybody else around. Apart from... You should probably be over here as well. Raccoon's going to try a throw if uh, if the stars align. Uh, Badger might be our throw to man. Let's see what happens. Raccoon, you got a chance to show your worth before we even get going. No. Okay, so I think we start with the... Oh, I'm forgetting about guard. Okay, so we start with this one. Disappointing. Uh, but we may stamp on him. Let's follow up just in case. I mean, we still have to knock him over to do that. Very nice. Not quite what we're looking for. A couple of armor breaks there, and we'd have felt like, oh, yeah, we've got a chance in the second half.
All right, we've got max surround. So we've got 92% fail there. You know, I'm going to take it over the throw. I think this is more important to the game in hand. I mean, you know, we might get sent off, so it might be worse. Okay, just a stun. Why not? Just to prove how good we are at ball handling. Get him worried. Is there any KOs at all right now? I don't think there are. I think, I think we know what we're coming back out with. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So we're playing 10 against 11 here. A removal or two there would have been, like, really helpful, to be truthful. But, you know, you, you take what you can get. He's presented us with a whole goblin, which is nice. Uh, I think we switch these two guys around. And... Um... I'm going to pull back a few non-essentials, I think. case of a blitz. Bull centaurs are pretty good at exploiting the blitz. And you know what? I think... No, let's go with this. May regret it if they do get the blitz, but we just have to cross our fingers. That's one of theirs. Just a stun. He actually did well out of that, unfortunately. I'm going to send back a protector here. In case I make some horrible mistakes. Alright, that's nice. We'll stay, obviously. Uh, we will take that one. Okay, I really wanted to start armor breaking these guys. Uh, let's see, let's hit their dirty player. I'd use a monitor if it wouldn't get me so deep into his team. Okay, so no dice there either. Considering that. I'm wondering if we need a new, more aggressive style of play. Let's see, let's let's decide by a stag moves. Oh we did. So we could either do a 83% chance, but on a less valuable player. Although he's not stunned, just getting just getting mana advantage would actually be kinda useful here. Sure, you only live once, right? Unless you have an apothecary. Okay. Fair dues, I'll take stuns. <laughs> they only get one block on us, so, you know, they can only take out one player this turn. Look on the bright side, eh? Okay, looks like he's trying to take out a Chaos Warrior. Pretty sensible. Oh, he's got a wizard as well. Yeah, that's going to make things. So I think, yeah, I knew there was a reason why I was feeling less positive about our chances here. And the wizard is is that thing. Does he feel the pressure to... No, he doesn't. Okay, fair dinkums. To get Australian for a moment. We could technically blitz that... Uh, Centaur. But we would be exposing ourselves to counter play. Uh, that said, I kind of like it. 
We should make an effort to be, you know, heading up the old field, I think. And yeah, obviously the claw guys are nasty, but the centaur is uh, fast. So they're their best sort of guys for really influencing the game pretty hard as it goes on. Okay, so hugely disappointing there. Um, I think we try to... Oh, we need to move him back if we can. We can. That's what we were looking for a second ago. Maybe some random armor breaks? Oh. Good call. End game, you did hear me say breaks, right? No, I guess not. So we could definitely foul somebody here. What are we looking at there? 42, is this say yeah, this is the same percentages. Uh, not that it will help, but I think I'm gonna bring this guy over here. Just to try and say, hey, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna bring this guy here going to bring this guy in here. Okay, this is a little... No, no, we're good, I think. Let's kill those hobgoblins. Oh, no. Let's not. Yeah, I like this. I mean, I, I don't. I'd prefer some more removed guys. We did stun their piling on, dude, which is pretty good. Okay, pretty effective wizard. If we're being honest. Ball carrier is still technically up. Okay, they can't get on the ball carrier there. A pretty risky dodge. Uh, we did lose a guy. We lost Mole. I didn't look what happened to him. I think it's just badly hurt. So we're down another player. So this is where this is where our two heads could potentially be helpful for us. Now, obviously, it's saying uh, that's not really that. That's going to be like a 5+, plus, I think. Because he uses his strength instead of his agility. So it's like an elf dodging into two tackle zones. Um. Okay, he made it. Never mind. He needed a... Did he need that 6+, plus? Oh, well, it's hard to know because of uh, break tackle. Now, don't be silly. You've been playing pretty solid. Don't, don't do silly things. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I can't get my head around quite at the moment what he needed there. Because uh, break tackle is useful, but boy, I still think he might have been needing a six there, or at least a five. Um, because it's the tackle, it's the one that you're dodging into that is the problem. In terms of the result, my brain is failing me right now because I'm trying to think of too many things at the same time. <clears throat> so we definitely have problems here. Uh, because he's also stood up our whole team. All right, that's nice. All right, let's try and remove some guys away from us. A good, a good amount of blocking here, or a good, uh, what am I trying to say? 
I think we're going to try and remove the pieces that are going to get us removed. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want to get hit by four claws next turn. That's basically what I'm saying. And that would be impressive, seeing as he's only got three. <clears throat> Okay, so we could free up a guy to do this, but it's going to involve a Minotaur block. This is not the kind of stuff we want to be doing. But it is what I'm doing. Oh boy, I'm already scared. Okay, that's fine. Stag did good. Uh, let's keep him in contact with this guy. So now we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I shouldn't say we can do this when I'm about to make a bad roll. Yeah, we can roll those double ones. And injure ourselves. Okay. Well, that could be a problem, because he's our retriever. So, I, I wanted to get next to our guys so that we... Because I had a feeling we're going to have some issues here with their centaurs being able to dodge out and blitz me. <clears throat> so I thought, let's do a couple of GFIs. We've got the rerolls. The good thing is that our Minotaur, I think, is kind of like holding up half their team here. Now, yeah. And he's going to continue to, I think, because this is still a two die against. So yeah, I guess he has a two dice here. I haven't tried to work it out in my mind. Who's picking up the ball? Guess he's going to try and... No. Oh, he made the dodge on a four plus, so he still has another dodge if he wants to use it. Oh, that ruins my plan altogether. My plan was hit this guy. Okay, yeah, we're really we're really looking bad now. Okay, yep. I I really wasn't expecting that. Well, the wizard in the end did, did come back to bite us because of his really, really risky dodge. I mean, I can't emphasize enough. That was not necessarily going to work. <laughs> Even with break tackle. Yeah, let's just hit this guy. There we go. That's nice. Don't push him next to the ball. Bear doing some work. Uh, let's see... Very nice. Don't really want to get next to that, but we'll stay here. Then, of course, you will get up. You will do the splits, because you have tackle. Very nice. And yes, we will follow this, because then we're going to catch it. Unless it goes in the middle of their team. In which case, we'll probably just hold off. Not quite what we were hoping. We'll just pop you there. Stag's going to take a rest, as is his way. Yeah, we're sort of looking at miracles now. Um, we are three down. He is one down. 
Uh, but obviously positioning and everything is, is a problem. Uh, we've got some fairly important players. Our ball carrier is obviously a big loss. Now, anybody in the team can pick that ball up, in, in theory. But unlike him, they can't go into all these tackle zones, pick it up, and then hand it back out. So I'm feeling this is going to be a slow, painful Chaos Dwarf push here. Which is like a dwarf push, a slow, painful dwarf push, except with more injuries. Bear is still being a beast. But, um, he, you know, when you start getting outnumbered this much, you, you run into the danger of being overwhelmed and outnumbered. At least his guy has not rolled as many chances as he'd like. Now he could fail to pick this up. Twice. And it could bounce off me to here and we could run away with it. He can't blame me for trying. We have an in to there so he might want to... No he doesn't. Okay. Um... Oh, I didn't expect him to do that. You know what, we're going to assume that this works. Because we need it to work. I really want this to bubble out, I've got to... Yeah, I guess this is marginally better. I hope goblins are beginning to fade away now, which is nice. Oh, that's not great there. So now we need some guard in here. That's a one dice. Now it's the two dice. Down he goes. Back into this area. Alright, alright. I mean, we've just got to do stuff now, right? Uh, now I'm not sure what I'm doing there. I think here. He can get an assist, and I don't know what he's going to try here. But we picked it up on bear. We dodged so much there. But this is what he's driven us to. So although our guys are going to get pulverized here, it does... Uh, kind of keep some of his team away from doing things. Yeah, see, he's he's going back, so he's going to try and uh, take care of our front line. Stag always taking the hits. Probably piling on. He wants to get some removals here. No? Okay. Okay, he wants the guard instead. Does he have a sneaky push play here? I don't see one.
So this is our potential way out over here. And here's how... oh, I'd have to dodge though. So we'd have to push this guy. Get into contact with some claw, which I don't like. Then blitz this guy. This is going to involve a lot of dodging, if I'm being honest. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, took a bit of a chance there. Used up our bad dodge roll there. That's some tactical genius, if ever you'll see it. Uh, let's see. Sure. Okay, so there goes our last reroll, because we need to close this off if we can. We did. Are we happy here? I mean, we're, ha we're as happy as we can be. We got two turns. Bear could technically make it. I don't expect him to, but you've got to admire his uh, determination. Uh, Stag standing up would have been excellent, but we needed the Blitz. Unfortunately, we don't have this guy on lockdown, so this guy can feed around and be our biggest nightmare. Oh, double ones here would be an almost, almost giving me that. Okay, that's a problem. Well, not if he still does double ones here. He's going to do the sensible thing and throw some blocks first. Is that sensible? No, I think the sensible thing would be bring this guy up here. You're not going to try and break tackle through here, are you? That would be ridiculous. I'm calling it. It'd be ridiculous. If he puts this guy here and then dodges through... Okay. Is he blitzed? No, is this going to be his blitz? Maybe. Bear being strength 5 is, is pr pretty much all we have going for us right now. Uh, I don't expect it to be enough to to keep us in this, but it's uh, it's at least a big help. The guards here are going to be a problem. Because now he has a guard on each side, so a blitz here is is a problem. You gotta admit we made it we made it exciting though. I don't think he needed to do that. I'm gonna be honest. I wish guard cancelled guard. Uh we're doing this. Well, okay, we I mean we're not strictly doing it, but I think we keep a tab on this guy. I don't... my problem is, I don't have a good way... I can do this. Like, we're looking at a one dice here without reroll, and I can't change that. Uh, I can't get anybody in there. So we're looking at a five or six. Well, yeah, we uh, realistically we're looking at five or six here.
And there's not really anything I can do about that. Well, is there? No, there's not. Okay. Because pushing this guy away won't help. Alright, so now we're looking at some severe dodging. Put him here. One. Yeah, I can't dodge backwards, so you have to, we have to go here. Just a 4-3 to get up here. The dream is over. Yeah, I think had Stag have stood up, that would have been, at some point, that would have been really helpful. <laughs> had he been a beastman that I could have used to get in the way, that would have been really useful. So I suppose the only dream we have left, and it's a small dream because he's going to knock him over, is that this guy scores. Yeah, now hair is out of range. So he's going to go and knock uh, Wolf out of range next. Yep, that's our touchdown gone. Well, it was a disappointing game. Uh, we had a few little attempts to come back into it, but honestly, we were doing dodgy stuff. I mean, if it had worked, I'd have been happy, obviously, but... This is this is this is Chaos Dwarfs on on Max. The sad thing is they're a fun team to play. Because you get the best of both worlds. You get have dwarfs who are boring to play, but very efficient. But you also get um a little agility from your um, hobgobos and some super speed from your bull centaurs so they are and the hobgoblins are super cheap as well um, they're very fun to play and they're very good which is uh, uh, sad for uh, the rest of the league I mean they're beatable I hate them more when I'm playing as elves honestly we were at least able to muscle them around a bit at times. Yeah, he's running a running away. Oh, he's getting a scoring threat. Okay. All right, so what can we do here? We can stand here. Yep, disappointing. That's not really a good plan. Ooh, that's a bit disappointing. I've been surprised not to meet more Chaos Dwarf teams, in truth. Wolf back to his old ways of getting KO'd. Back before the block. Once he got block, I don't know if you noticed, he gets KO'd a lot less now. Try and take out Hare. Still universally hated, but impossible to kill.
I don't think he's left anybody for trying to score the touchdown. Moose, also impossible to kill. And Bear, a legend, in his own time. You can push him, but he won't fall over. I mean, how do you have made it out of there? Uh, maybe they could have got a. They could have got a one dice for sure. They probably could have got a two dice, honestly. But it shows you how good a strength five ball carrier is. It's a bit ridiculous. Plenty of money to replace uh, dead people. Okay, Moose. Keeping his march on towards trying to get to our MVP. Uh, so pretty even on the blocks. Um, pretty even on the armor breaks. But, um, yeah. I think considering... I think considering everything, uh, we did okay. I mean, I know we were trying to get towards a draw at the end. Um, but that was kind of influenced by knowing they had the wizard. So we were just trying to sort of demolish their team a bit in the first half. It, it semi worked and semi didn't. Um, and then weirdly we, you know, despite getting wizarded, we almost were able to get out. But the bull centaurs are just so maneuverable. That's why they're such good players. They're on paper. They are like, like what movement six, strength four, terrible agility. You know, it's just like a black orc with a more expensive black orc. But the, the movement 9, which is effectively because of the sprint and sure feet, coupled with it once you get, uh, especially the blodge guy, but the um, the other guy as well, uh, the, the break tackle, so they can dodge like elves, is is a problem. And that, that cage break that he did after the wizard was... I won't say it's risky, because it's not risky in the sense of... Um, like suddenly I'm away and free, but it's risky in the sense that like the chance of it working on that big. Um, I'd have probably myself tried to play into a um hang on, let me see here. Okay, we still have a dirty player. I think we get our wrestle back. Cause it's always nice to have a wrestle. Nobody likes it. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Because it's a useful way to <clears throat> take the ball off people. Uh, Boar is out again. He hasn't really been heavily impacted by that loss of agility. Um, he's getting injured as if he has a niggling injury. <laughs> uh, it seems like every time he gets hit, he does get injured. Uh, it's weird. Uh, but our team didn't get broken too much considering. That loss is pretty bad. We had actually, I don't know if it'll still be showing up, but amusingly enough, we had moved up the... No, it's dropped us back down again there. We were in, like, 67th for a minute. Um, I checked before the game. I know last time I looked, and it hadn't updated yet, but this time it has. Um, so, amusingly, we'd almost got up as high as the Dark Elves, despite our horrific record. So, no advancements on our... Um, mutations it's just hard to make it happen um especially against solid teams like that it was just a team built the way you'd want to build them um you know i i can't i couldn't argue with the way he had made any of his players there it was a textbook and um yeah That's that's the way it goes. I would have liked to have got the draw instead. It would have kept us a lot higher up. But, I mean, obviously this team is not really challenging for a whole lot. So, I just want to get some SPP so we can get some tentacles and and such such things. Some more tails. I'd love some more tails. It'd be amusing to make an extra... I don't think extra long legs shows up, but it'd be amusing to make an extra long legs leap. Beast Blitzer. Anyhow, uh, thank you for watching, um, and I will catch you for the next game. Bye for now.